Uh-oh. Sorry, you looked at the book. That means you gotta like you gotta go teleport to this place. We got we got some jetties. We got some stone towers. Bridges. What more could you ask for, Rick? Ah, uh, the prime missed experience. <laughs> Did it do anything? I don't know. Oh, Tamra, my love, how long have I been trapped here? How much of my life has been eaten by the fog? The face I see in the lagoon isn't one I remember ever wearing. It's so much older, so much more savage, but it is me. It is Saavedro, and I remember what they did, how they led my people to death. Hello, Atris. Been a long time. Sorry I'm not there to greet you in person, but I just didn't think it would be wise, considering how long I've been stuck here. Trapped in these lesson ages by two very greedy little boys. Your sons, Atreus, Cirrus and Akinar. Worried about relation? I have it. Worried about friends, relatives, people you can't get back. I know just how you feel. But if you want to do something about it, you're going to have to open this device. And there's just one problem. I've changed the three symbols that do that. So if you want to reclaim relation, you're going to have to take your own class. <laughs> Find the three symbols, Atris. And don't keep me waiting forever. Hello, dear viewers, and welcome back to Saving Off. And this is Miss 3 Exiled Part 2. I am your host, Rick, and this is my co host, David. I'm here to tag along, be a nuisance, um, uh, sit here and listen to Rick. Uh, serenade us with the dulcet lore books that will be scattered throughout. Hmm, I can't wait for those sweet, sweet lore books. We have three potential paths here after following Savedro onto the prison world of Jananin. Um, we have found the green Adana book, the red Voltaic book, and the blue Amateria book. Each one of these presumably represents a different spoke from this hub world that we're in, and, uh, I guess we gotta go to a mall to chase down Savedro and get the really Sean book back. Man, how do I remember all these proper nouns? <laughs> uh, it, it's fine. Uh, I think that the challenging thing going forward is just uh, keeping heads and tails of all of that stuff. So I'm glad I'm glad you're here to um, remember because I right now they're all just words. They mm -hmm. they, they exist. Where do you want to go first? <laughs> Well, we're right in front of this book, and we we have no idea what the if there's any advantage to any of them. So just like this is convenient, just pop in there, jump so, right in. So you'd go for the grass starter then? I mean, historically, I have picked grass uh, more often in Pokemon than uh, the others, even though I uh, I think that water is a better typing overall. See, I usually go with fire because I'm an edge lord, and fire is cool. It's a pretty popular uh, option. It's perfectly valid. But it's I wrong, never... but it's valid. <laughs> but I never go with water <laughs> ever, ever. I just don't. I, I don't. I don't do water. Grass is cuter, so there's that. That's true. All right, let's open this book. That's an awfully contrived mechanism to open up a book. <laughs> I mean, how would you do it otherwise? I mean, you could just open the book. You don't have to have a old ass machine. What's this place look it sounds like? Sounds complicated. It looks like a big prison spire with some palm fronds on the top just to decorate it. We 
whenever we link to another world, do you think that we literally like swoop around in the air like that? Or is it all just abstraction to kind of sell us on the geography? That's a good question. I, I want to think that we swoop around in the air just because I like roller coasters. Hmm. Oh man, we activated this book um, by doing a sound puzzle. So you know what that means, David. Oh, lots of sound puzzles. Well, there's the Jananin book. Well, in this world, you have to uh, manually open the book, so I hope you're happy, Rick. <laughs> I am. I'm thrilled that we're not wasting time with meaningless contraptions any longer. Uh, I, guess I we're think Atrus would be heartbroken to hear that. Listen, Atrus has a lot of very useful contraptions. The ones that he built to open up a book, kind of useless. I think that was a waste of his time. But maybe that was, like, his project while he was, like, stuck with writer's block. Like, maybe that was his, like, you know, little side gig to kind of get the creative juices going. I imagine it was more so, like, a uh, safety lock on it so that it wouldn't just, you know, get knocked open. And then, you know, you walk, you walk in there to, like, sweep and you get sucked into the world. Oh, oh no, no, that's way too functional. <laughs> oh, hey, there's a bird. No, he definitely built that thing and then went to Catherine and was like, Catherine, look what I did. I built a machine to open the book. And she just says, yeah, yeah, that's nice, honey. <laughs> that bird just has one of the sound plants in its nest now, so we're probably going to want that. I guess it's edible if it's trying to feed it to its, like, uh, like younglings. Hmm. I don't get a lot of range of movement with these things. This is way too musical for a Myst game. <laughs> I don't know how I feel well, about I mean, background music. You are one with nature right now. for a second it was going to grab us. Yeah, me too. Well, mom's gone. Time to raid that nest. Oh, I can't go up there. I guess we need to revitalize this plant in some way. Oh, that's where I was before. I see. I said not actually, you know, seeing. So I came this way. And around here is where I saw the bird. So we have to go this way. So I was going backwards. I'm trying to remember if we've, like, had this much wildlife uh, in the backdrop before in a mist game. Um, I mean, there were some pretty lush areas in Riven. But were there, like, animated, like, creatures? Some. I don't think it was quite this cinematic, though. But there were definitely... Mm -hmm. There were definitely some, uh... Some pre-rendered animations of... Some little dudes. Oh, this telescope's yellow. I'm sure that won't be important. That's good, you're saving the battery. <laughs> I hate it when I can both open and close things. We're gonna leave it open. Oh, no, I guess just gonna close. Alright, fine. Yeah, it's, it's screensaver popped. to climb it? 
I guess not. Interesting. Is it obscuring anything significant when it's down? It was. Okay, this this takes us back to Jananan. But is it a different book, or is this the one we where we started? Seems Looks to be like the one we started. started, yeah. <laughs> hmm. I feel like that's a different book. The one like that's through these vines? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, because we weren't we weren't over there, were we? Um, you may be right, that might be, you know, the goal book. Would we get like a little recording from Atrius being like, You solve my puzzle. Good job, kids. <laughs> I'm so proud of you for not being evil. <laughs> And then Saavedro pops up and says, Aha, joke's on you. You did not solve the puzzle. I changed it. <laughs> you know, as he does. Yeah. Like, how would he go about changing the puzzles in this world? Would he hack into the flowers, change their genomes? So, a lot of this stuff is very organic. I don't know. Maybe he didn't change these ones, per se. Maybe he just changed the puzzles on Jananen. Yeah, so that's where we started down there, and we were looking over in here at the goal book. Which is directly above the nest. Mm-hmm. So it seems like we do need to somehow access the nest. This really makes me want to play Mist again. It's like, you know, you're playing Elden Ring, you're like, man, this really makes me want to play Sekiro. Yeah. Oh, hey, we've got a beam of light now. I wasn't there before. So, given how we access this world in the first place, it feels like that we're going to need to make another uh, flesh plant bridge or something like that or else pull a king's quest 5 slash space quest 4 and uh get the uh pterodactyl bird thing to harvest us and take to take us to the nest mm -hmm. are we seeing that light because we activated this plant um, that seems reasonable, because we had it down before, didn't we? You're like, to test it out. See, see for yourself. Yeah. Yeah, you got the right of it. So it's harvesting, you know, sun energies when it's up. I'm grateful that you told me that I do have the right, because all I've been seeing for the past few weeks is you don't have the right. Oh, you don't have yeah. the right. <laughs> little Elden Ring humor there for you. Yeah. All right, so I wonder where we have to point this thing. We may not have well, the target it's yet. It's redirecting light. I feel like that's the most obvious, like, sensor for anything. Mm-hmm.
Does anything change now if I point it elsewhere? What if I put it there? I don't think that the light in this scene is actually changing. Doesn't seem like it. But you know, you gotta try everything. This is a good spot right here, right in the middle of this shadow. No. Yeah, they did not uh, render all the possibilities. Yeah, I like it down there. We'll have to take it. Yeah, we'll take it on faith that that's gonna be a good spot for it. And if it's not, well, that's too bad. Yeah. If, like, if we somehow get to the ramp on top there, would that form some kind of bridge? Sort of seems oh. like it. Did the, the plants move to a different spot? No, they're just back or... down now. Okay. If I put them back up... Yeah, so this is this is their toggled state here cuz we have access to the Jananan book again. Mhm. Mm it doesn't seem like we're going to have to go back to Jananan for anything. I would presume not. I mean, like, I, I don't think like... they're going to pull <clears throat> It's not an abduction situation or at least it's not yet. Yeah. Oh, hey, what's this? Ooh, it jiggles. Blub, 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 blub. My gut tells me that that hub world is pretty thoroughly explored at this point with whatever else it's hiding to come after we've cleared out these other three ages. Uh, you managed to tie up all of our loose ends, like, last episode, so I feel like you're right. Is this, like, um, connected to the orb that we were trying- we were activating before? I'm- I'm not- I'm st I'm having a little trouble tracking the geography here. Because, like, this, like... So, like, the light- the, the little thing that- little spotlight plant that we had access to, mm. that we currently have deactivated, do you think it, like, activates this spiral um, plant staircase? Possibly, but this is also the staircase leading down, so it might not go up any further. Lord, that effect makes me dizzy. <laughs> oh, I don't... I'm gonna skip. I don't want to watch it again. So that's that's the orb, or at least a orb. Yeah, I think it's that's like, what we were pointing it at, right? Down here. Yeah. So if we, assuming this is the same one, if we point it at this thing, have the um, spotlight activated, will that change this plant at all? So it is activated. Is there anywhere else we can point this? Not within our range of motion. Oh, hey. That's Ooh. that big bulbous thing. Oh no! Oh, great. Well, now we broke we it. We solved the puzzle! <laughs> Hopefully that's the last one. <laughs> cool. Cyan well. wouldn't make us go through this again, would they? <laughs> We have stairs.
feels very dangerous. I don't feel safe on this thing. We're going way too fast. Good lord. They couldn't have just made this an elevator? <laughs> Come on, nature. Get on the ball. <laughs> the 21st century. Can Atrus, like, write into his book that the plants are elevators, or is it not that uh, granular? I don't know. I've always been the impression that he can write pretty much whatever he wants, but... Uh... Well, I mean, the journals that we read last episode kind of suggested that uh, he basically can set up the rules, and then it kind of, like, snowballs from there. Mm -hmm. That's why he was being so neurotic about, like, well, I want to make sure I get it perfect, because otherwise something disastrous will happen, and, like, my sons will be evil or something like that. Yeah. Um, well, we put the stingray in the the plant orb as so mission accomplished. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> ah, finally, some lore. I have desecrated the poem he placed in the columns. I could no longer stand to see Narayan's artistry in his worlds. Think I can do something with the sap to cover the second one, but I'm not sure what to do about the island. I don't know how to alter the current. Perhaps if I bring in some of the unusual floating stone from Amateria. Something about the molecular composition of the rock in that age causes it to attract and repel other stone quite forcefully. Maybe, if I introduce some of it to the soil on the island, it will interfere just enough to damage the last poem. I will have to conduct some experiments. I'm glad the wind didn't blow those pages away. Yeah, and it's nice of him to just leave his journals lying around. I mean, there's not really, like, waste disposal anymore. The most he could have done is, like, you know, huck them into the ocean, I guess. I mean, you could have burned them. That's true. But then how would we know that he's, like, put magnets in the soil? Uh -uh. Is the mama bird in danger? Looks like it didn't extend far enough, so we might need to get the, those flesh protuberances to extend a little bit further. Yeah. What's over there? Can I get to it? There's another one. So we can get to where that's trying to extend to. 
so it might just be trying to demonstrate how this works with the the light or we i don't know we can maybe find another like sound plant to uh stimulate the bulbs Where is that? How do I get to it? Well, I'm sure in real mist exile, you'd you know be able to do a jumping puzzle to get over there. <laughs> I wish. I wish they'd remake every game in the 2021 engine. My understanding is that there's a uh, fan-made project called Starry Expanse, which was intended mm. to be like a real Mist-style recreation of Riven that has actually been not only blessed by Cyan, but also kind of brought into the fold with them. So that's very promising. That's cool. Because I really like Riven, and it's in dire need of an update, because that is definitely a game that deserves a full remake. I figure the issue with trying to remake uh, the entire series is that there's diminishing returns in how much buy-in you have. Like, the original Myst, you know, it's got enough brand recognition that you can convince people to buy it. It's a, it's a masterpiece. It's a, you know, uh, sold a bazillion copies. You can see what the fuss is about. And then you have to solve puzzles, and you're like, eh, I don't know. Yeah. That was always the problem with Myst. Everybody bought it, everybody owned it, everybody played it, but nobody knew what the hell they were doing. Also, speaking of not knowing <laughs> what the hell you're doing, I can fuss with this. Wow. I don't know what that just well. did. <laughs> can we, like, raise... Oh, whoa, whoa. I was a jumping puzzle after all. <laughs> And the game continues to tease you with his enigmatic object. Mm. Oh, hey, it's a crank. Is it a trap? It's probably a trap for one of those little rabbit creatures. Now, if only we had a co-op partner so we could drop this on each other's heads. Yeah. That would be hilarious. Aha. A rock-hard apple. Yeah, we want it directly underneath. Our depth perception needs some work. <laughs> Listen, I would have assumed that in its default state, it would not be in the correct place, okay? All right, I would agree. <laughs> okay, so that seems to be where we want it. Uh, now we just need, like, a rat. Maybe it's something where we have to go away and come back, or maybe have physically seen one of these creatures. Is that one way? Ah, okay. This is how you get back. Aha! Oh, hey! Got him! Now we can point a sound amplifying plant that way. Yeah. 
Where do we want to go? Oh, that's dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> but that's probably the other side that we have to open up. That'll allow us to... God, this is just dangerous. I hate this so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's very disconcerting given the normal range of motion that a missed uh, game gives you. Mm -hmm. We now have another source of ambient animal protest. Good. The question is, can we find another plant that can, like, uh, amplify noise? No, the question is, can we take the moss? That would be nice. But, as you know, mist doesn't normally allow you to haul inventory around. So I wasn't about to get my hopes up. <laughs> Hey, we have, like, two books, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Mist is growing with the times. In Riven, you had one book. Yeah. Well, I guess you eventually got another one. When I played Mist as a kid, I was just, like, um, very frustrated because, like, you know, Monkey Island was my gold standard, and it's like, why can I only carry a page? Like, yeah. you know, <laughs> I have to, you know, trek all the way back. I know. That's uh, that's something that was always very frustrating. Even in real Mist, they still just did the same damn thing. But luckily, in Mist 2021, they did change that. You can hold as many pages as you want. You know, we haven't tried freeing this thing. I guess in the grand spirit of mist, we should try all of our avenues. And also, did we go over this way since dropping the rabbit? I think we tried, but the issue yeah. is that um, we probably need to activate these tubers before anything can happen. I'm confused as to why I can roll it, though. Okay. <laughs> that was not the solution I expected, but you had good instincts to exhaust our options. I don't know how I feel about that. All right, let's go this way. I mean, couldn't you have obviously predicted that's where the critter would go if it got yeah. startled? There we go. Now we have a bridge. I love having access to places. Me too. Gives me that warm Dark Souls feeling of finding a shortcut. Get a nice ambient thrum here. Looks like we have maybe two avenues, or maybe just the one. Oh, ah, hey, ah, burp. Uh, it's like been Venus fly trapped. Oh, good. Ah. 
All right, we've got to free that thing. Where's my missed shotgun? Just, you know, use your books to help this bird, Rick. We did a few passages from some journals to soothe it. <laughs> What do we got here? Got like a. We got a big mural. We got a flesh thing. Hey, here's our fish. We, okay. Our stingray. Here's one big happy family. I'm assuming these are the dunny. And these guys are being all like, uh, reading is so much fun. Look how fun we're, how much fun we're having. <laughs> so is that the only, or are there two ways? Okay, there's two ways we can go here. I'm unclear if this is the same stingray or if it's um, there's multiples. I'm pretty sure it's the same one. Yeah, it looks like you're right. This seems like a like an organic lighting solution. We can't do anything with like the painting palette on the ground, right? No. Oh, come on, there's clearly something there. It looks like a receptacle. It's probably a sensor we have to direct something else at. Aha. This is like our sound relay plant. But I don't think that we have anything, any sound feeding into it. This is this is the output. If it works like the one on outside. Oh, and there's multiples. Unless this is a different one, right? Oh, this one's, this one's light. got light. Okay, we can we can direct it towards the other plants. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is just another uh, photon relay. We can make a bridge. Is there anything else this way? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Ah, there's you you're right. That was a receptacle, wasn't it? So that activated the bridge, but what if I aim it at the other thing? here. Still nothing. Well, 
place is very big. Oh, that must be the plant. Okay. That's the plant yeah, bridge. That's our bridge. Where's the light bulb? There it is. I feel like this game tries to cover more ground than Mr. Riven. I could be mistaken. I feel like there's a lot more inter tertiary um, panels. There are definitely a lot more nodes. Riven was also pretty big, but I think this game gives it a run for its money. Now we can see what's over there. Yeah. Gonna be some weed killer so we can rescue Mama Bird, and Mama Bird's gonna be so thankful that it'll be like, here's your linking book. <laughs> also a little nervous that like that journal we found suggested there's a poem that's the center of a puzzle. Um, and we haven't seen hide nor hair of that yet. Mm -hmm. It may not literally be a poem though. I don't know. I mean, in the sense that, like, you know, the world itself is a poem. Yeah. And we are all beautiful verses mm -hmm. that populate it. Yeah, you get it. That's cosmic, man. So I have no control over this scene, but it's pointing at the most recent light bulb. Yeah. So if we maybe put the stingray somewhere else, will that affect what we're looking at? Probably. You want to experiment with it? I mean, that seems like the biggest lead we have at the moment. Unless there's like, we've not exhausted the stuff to do here. Well, I wonder if we've already solved this puzzle. You know, in what way? Like, I wonder if the puzzle was to activate the light bulb. Maybe. Um, here I go getting all turned around again. No. Do you think having like the full like look around feature makes it more or less disorienting than the um, prior system of uh, static mm. panels? <sighs> it's hard to say. It's a little more disorienting in a way because you have a lot more like you have a lot more angles that you can approach things from. But it's also better in a way because you have more control over where you're looking and the spatial awareness in that regard is a lot better. It feels a lot more contiguous. Like it, it feels like that things are better connected, but yeah, there's a lot more room for error also. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, in the... Like, in Mist 1, you could be looking here, and then you have to drag your cursor off to the side, and now all of a sudden you're looking here. And then you click to the side, and mm -hmm. now you're looking here. So this gives you a lot more, um, a, a lot more of, like, context, of a point of reference for where you are. Um, it just opens up so many more possibilities, which, in a game design sense, I guess is good. Okay, so it's still fixed. It's just it's pointing at this particular bulb, mm -hmm. uh, and it's not related to where the stingray is. But what does it mean? And you might be right, Rick. It might be a situation where just uh, having the light of that stingray feeding into that plant means that another plant that that's connected to will have been activated somewhere else mm -hmm. in the universe. Yeah, I mean, right now I'm thinking we can't get over here unless we shine the light there under that bridge. 
and there was another well, focus point up here that we had to shine on to a light. I'm wondering if, you know, us pointing it at the stingray will feed that remaining spotlight. Exactly. That's exactly where I was going. And then we can just, you know, maybe point that at that remaining receptacle, and this could be like, oh, yeah, Stingray Light, that's my favorite. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Here's a linking book. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, these animals want to give us linking books. It's their <laughs> purpose. We, we just gotta, we just gotta facilitate that. Atris wrote it right into the world that, yeah. hey, they want to give you these books. Yeah, the genesis is that he lost a linking book and he thought, you know what? Never again. Never again. I'm just going to everything, everything now. It's it's like he made a Mario Maker level and everything drops a fire flower. Yeah. Maybe not a best strategy to have that uh, connected to a prison world, though. I mean... So this is hooked up here. Now he's got to see uh, if our other spotlight is activated or if we are delusional. Not. Nope. Doesn't do anything. This sucks! Well, let's try aiming it at that one because it maintains memory of Is where that... we aimed it. And let's go try yeah. moving the origin. Also, is that like plant right next to you? Is that anything different? No. no. It's just it's just for show. It's just a little fun little treat. No, we're just It's just a tease. Yeah, no, we're we're that's looking down at the one over here. See, it's the same okay. one. Oh, but we can we can approach it from this side. But there's nothing and we still can... be teased by it. Yeah, there's still nothing we can do with it though. Oh, wait, hey, this is something we haven't done before. This looks exciting. Hell we can this? hurl ourselves into the ocean. <laughs> Maybe there's a linking book. Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay. Good luck getting back, chump. <laughs> Was this just a shortcut back down? It might be. Um, I don't know where this is relative to anything else, but maybe it's something that would let us skip the bridge or something? What? Ah, uh, Atris did build in elevators after all. Alright, I am so lost now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So, those are one-way paths that would theoretically accomplish something. <laughs> okay, I wonder if pulling that activated an elevator or something. I don't know. I, I am so lost. Ooh, that's a big orb. Those are kind of reacting to the light, the little antennae on the top.
So if we have that there, is that going to change anything above? Exile does seem to suffer a little bit from the um, scope creep of, you know, like, oh, uh, SQL needs to be bigger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so far that's kind of a... kind of a thing. Although this game wasn't developed by Cyan. That is a factor. It was developed by Presto Studios. In conjunction with Cyan. Um, it, well, what was um, Cyan's like function? Were they just like uh, creative consultants? Yeah, I think... Uh, I just read about it recently. I think that the story goes that they were looking for a developer for a sequel to Riven. And they had a bunch of different places, like, offer their pitches. And the folks at Presto are the ones that they liked the most because they seemed to be the most in tune with the series and had the best idea for where they could go next. So, um, th this is the brainchild of a whole new set of developers. And that's, that's why things are a little bit different. But, I mean, I think That's that they fair. still nail the general spirit of it. So, this... Doesn't do anything. Complete disappointment. Oh, man. <laughs> like, the one thing we seem to have accomplished is, like, get the big bulb at the bottom to, like, extend its little... Um, tendrils, and I don't know what that would connect to, if anything. Like, my big thing was assuming, like, okay, well, it's gonna feed into another spotlight. So I wanted to have this pointed at that. Right. And now if I go back to the origin lights and I point it at that other bulb, that should funnel light through to the new one, and then question mark? Profit? Yes, that's up there now, but in theory we've now lost our bridge. Mm-hmm. What's this thing? What is this thing? Yeah, we've lost the bridge. So, what the hell was that thing? <laughs> What's the matter, Atrus? Can't remember how things work? Yet you explained this class so well when we first spoke of it in Orion. I want Cirrus and Akinar to learn everything they can, Savidro. First from Amateria, Idana, Voltaic, and finally from Narayan. When my boys come to see your people, I want them to see Narayan's traditions and work so they can see how civilization can balance an age. Do you know what they did when they finally came to us? You never came back. After class was over, Alright, I'm really behind Savidro's uh, 
uh, motivations here. I think that he's he he makes for a great villain. He he has a very genuine gripe here. I mean, those boys did some uh, war crimes. They they're they're they're, they're bad. Yeah, I, I mean, I I just I love a good relatable antagonist. Um. Meanwhile, this actually gets us nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> it it's a taunt machine. <laughs> it's, it's an actual taunt button. <laughs> So is there any way that we can still direct light onto that plant? Or any way that we can get back up there? I mean, I'm trying to work out this in my head because um, I'm, I'm, I'm losing track of like what's connected to what. Like, we is the light from the stingray was, was focused on the plant on the bottom? No. At the, the bulb? Okay. No, I don't know what purpose the lamp serves. Um, because like if it is just like one continuous relay, um, from the first spotlight, then as soon as we like take it off of the bridge, then we break the chain. But I'm yes. like, okay, what well, was the bridge actually relaying to anything else? I don't think so. So like, this is our origin. And I had it pointing at this reflector, which is mm -hmm. aimed at the bridge. And can we, like, was that handlebar and elevator past the bridge? Or is that before? That was past the bridge. So I assumed okay. that was a shortcut, but all that did was take us to the big purple bulb, presumably at the bottom of this region? Mm-hmm. And... All of this will somehow tie into um, us getting that bird out of the Venus flytrap. Yeah, because right now I have that light reflecting onto this relay, which is then going up to here, which we cannot access right now because we need the bridge. Um, yeah. So we basically need a substitute somewhere in order to get this to, or like if it were able to split the um, like light in some way, but I don't think we've had any kind of mechanism like that, at least not that we've recognized. And from here, the origin, we only have like two options is what I see. From what I can tell, yeah. We have this one to be on the bridge, and this one to open the bridge. So now, this one is no longer lit, which is fine for now, because we don't know what lighting it accomplishes. Let's go back to the elevator and see if there's anything that we missed there. Get it missed. Mm -hmm. Not going to stop using that pun ever, so get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the more frustrated we get, the more often we're going to resort to that. Yeah. Yes. And why do we keep going back to that pun in particular? I don't know. It's a mystery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, missed. Mystery. Yeah. Yeah. How did I get to that elevator? Was it from here? I'm a little confused about that because I kind of stumbled onto it by accident and I can't remember how. I mean, it's somewhere in these 40 different nodes. Mm-hmm. Enter this tube. Uh, 
Okay. That, yeah. We can. Okay. That must be where I got turned around. Okay, that tube takes us over here, which is where the elevator is. So now we're down here. That's cool. Um, if I go up... It's lovely! If I go up these steps, and back at the elevator up. But there was a third option, and that was going to the bulb. Yeah, if I go downward... Down here? Yeah. There's the bulb, which is no longer lit. Wasn't that lit? I mean, it looks like that the tendrils are extended at the moment, oh, unless right. I'm just misinterpreting. That's right, the light's coming from the other side. This, this looks like a path I missed, okay. So what's going on over here? Like, this bulb's all the way open, and it looks pretty miserable. Ah! Something's happening. <laughs> what did we just do? It made, it made a plant noise. <laughs> And it, it put the little bugs. It's attracting the bugs. Ah, oh, it looks safe. I would just inhale those spores. Yeah, I don't see why not. Ah, pages. The final painting is almost done. It's been hard to work in the heat, but he must see everything that happened. As he follows the instructions I have left him, he will feel the pain I've suffered. If he doesn't, perhaps both of us will die. So I think that it was, uh, he painted that mural of, you know, uh, the boys waving their books around and people looking kind of like miserable about it. Mm -hmm. Well, we're inside. We are inside the bowl. Yeah doesn't appear that I can interact with anything here. Uh, we're, we're groping with all these stymen and nothing's happening. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. Wow. So do we have to open the top somehow? Maybe. We're making it spray pollen over the place. Is this different or is this where we came this in? This is where we came in. Okay. Okay. So that root took us into this plant. Looks like it. And I think this is about as, like, this is more open than it was. Um, is that gonna, like, pollinate it? S scared the bugs away?
They're back over here now. Okay. Sorry, I'm losing my uh, losing my sense of direction here. Well, I've got good news for you, Rick. We're like probably one quarter of the way through this age. Yeah. <laughs> Is that true? Have you looked this up? No, I have no okay. idea. <laughs> but it feels like it could be, and that's what's threatening. <laughs> it capturing them? No, it doesn't look like it's capturing them. So this light, all we can really do is open or close oh, this way. Okay. So when there are butterflies around, if you light it, then it opens up. It's more open than it was before. Maybe if we, you know, gank its stymen, it'll uh, spray its pollen all over the bugs, and the bugs will be so happy they'll give us a linking book. <laughs> <laughs> David, is stymen a real word? Oh, uh, yeah, but I'm probably not using it correctly. I think it's actually like this, uh, the stem of the plant, maybe. Mm. I don't know. I'm not into <laughs> botany. <laughs> But I can misuse words. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> so it works out. <laughs> if only we had a friend who knew anything about plants. And could correct our terrible woes. Also, if only I could remember how I got down there again. Good lord, this is confusing. I'm just not seeing the way down now. What happened to it? What happened? Can I, like, not go down there anymore? I... This feels more like, um... That we just simply are overlooking where we previously there, there traversed. We oh, there's two different plants. Yeah. Hmm. Crap. This is more complicated than I thought. And that's the uh, plant that... Okay, this is the root. But don't we need to attract those bugs back again? Unclear. I don't really know what we're trying to accomplish. <laughs> no, neither do I. Like, this stuff seemed to scare away the bugs previously, so... Now it's now it's a bridge or not so that root must have led like, us hey, to the other plants seemingly hmm 
like I, I'm guessing we're trying to basically fertilize uh, one of these plants. Because like if the bugs are on top of here and they get sprayed with the pollen, they go to the other one and they're going to fertilize it. And then, you know, in like six months or whatever, we'll have some fruit. It really looks like we could just like, you know, waltz over there. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, is it possible for us to go over to where the other plant is and like spray the bugs with the juice? I have no idea. <laughs> I feel this this puzzle would be a lot easier if we had uh, less space to work through, so that we could try out our d. We could we could brute force it a little bit easier. That's what I want. I want to brute force it a little yeah. easier. quite understand like how like we can manipulate the bugs beyond like the the little spore plants seem to drive them away I know it seems like we want to we want to get them back onto the plant we can actually like get them like we can spray them with But now this one is closed again. So is this taking us to the first one? Seemingly. But there are no bugs. Hmm. I don't like this area. <laughs> I was enjoying plant puzzles a lot more before I came here. Atrus, this one's a dud. <laughs> Think you should start over. Think you need to put a little more thought and effort into your books before you release them. <laughs> Absolutely thoughtless, man. Well, this was just letting nature take its course. <laughs> this was probably good before uh, Savidro came in and ruined everything. So is our goal to get light down here? Is that even possible? Like, the main thing we seem to be able to manipulate right now is that we have the one relay which we can use to open or close a plant. We have uh, another plant that uh, we can kind of move or redirect a little bit, and I'm, not, I'm unclear on exactly what that accomplishes. Um, and we can basically uh, pull the lever inside of the bulb to spray pollen. And I guess one thing I'm a little unclear about, like the bugs over there, are they like distracted by something else? Like are they actually at the other bulb or is that like um, just a smaller plant? So if that's the way that our light is shining in, it's lighting up these little plants, which is distracting them away from here. But if I take the light off, then this closes. Right. And it's I'm it seems or I'm guessing that the uh, pollen just kind of gets trapped in here if it's closed. Mm -hmm. So I feel like we need to keep this open. But um, if we like redirect the one plant that can either be kind of like sideways or up 
does that change anything? What 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 did that what did that accomplish? That can be either sideways or up. Which do you mean? I don't even know how to describe it. It's like like near the start of this entire age, there was that one plant that we could either have it uh, up where it could like be absorbing light, or down where it's kind of like blocking uh, the book out. This one here. There's a similar plant here. Yeah. I don't quite understand what it's affecting. Like it seems like that when we moved it initially, um, it caused uh, the plant to open more effectively. Mm-hmm. But I didn't understand the connection. No, I don't quite get it either. It was initially in this state, I think. Yeah. So if we leave it in this state, can we? Does that change anything else? So is this, this is more closed right now, I think. No, not really. This is about the same, I think. And the only other thing we can mess with is like the uh, spotlight, which we don't conceivably don't want to mess with. Now, it's possible that in these 4,000 like uh, nodes that there's another path we have neglected that'll get us to the other bulb or something. That's very possible. I feel like earlier on we did get down below t- uh, near one of the other bulb and it was kind of like messed up, unless I'm misunderstanding it. The closest that we've gotten to the bottom is over here. Because this is how we scared away those bugs. Like, if this is kind of like a... Uh, extension of the whole like uh, lure the little uh, rabbit hamster with a fruit and then scare it or whatever Um, then it feels like ultimately we're trying to like uh, manipulate the bugs to accomplish something Um, but we could also be like on a wild goose chase here Oh, hey, a page. The book sits on the floor of the tusk, its swirling panel reaching tentacle-like arms out to grab me. I want to close my eyes to shut out these false illusions before they suck me into the fog. I do not want those swirling arms to touch me. Why? Why am I so afraid of his book? I want to remember. I must. I think... I think this man may have come to our village, but he was younger then. Dark-haired, tall, wearing those strange, flowing brown robes. He carried a book in his hands, then too, and he's always using it. Always writing down notes. His eyes are covered by thick glasses, but his face is warm and friendly. He tells me his name. He says it's Atris. I remember now. His name is Atris. Atris says he's come to our village from a faraway place because he wanted to learn about the tree. He says he'll only stay a while doesn't want to stop our endless labors. He says he wants to help if we will let him. Oh, Tamra, why did we let him? Keep writing, Savidro. Write everything down. This Atris stayed with us for months. I taught him how to trim the delicate lattice roots, how to splice old and new growths together so that the walls of our house will grow strong. I tell him the traditions of the weave, how by using the spores to support the growing branches, we keep the lattice tree alive. He wants to learn everything I know. He wants Narayan to survive. I take him to the rift, to where the sea flows through gaps in the world. Steam flows up from the waterfall. The puffer spores are ready to take flight. We stand in the shadows of dusk and watch the spores begin to rise. He says they look like pearls against the sky. Then he points to one of the spores. It's smaller than the rest, small enough to fit the niche we'd woven into the branches that morning. Its skin is milky white, with just the faintest touch of pink. That one, Atris said. That should support your new daughter's room perfectly, I think. I remember I nodded, then I raised my pipe and played. Atris stood beside me holding his breath as my song drew the hollow spore in close. As soon as it was near, he threw the net and dragged it in. This is what I remember. This is why I said he could send me his sons. Did that give us any insight? Well, he was able to manipulate the spores using sound. But also, like, they caught the spores in a net, so... All we gotta do is, you know, get some inventory items. 
it's strange because like, you know, I figured there'd be a lot more sound manipulation in this, but it's been, it's really just been light. Mm -hmm. So did that last journal imply that like his memories were wiped or something? God, I'm at a loss. Our lighting stingray also seems to have, like, unclear utility. Yeah. I'm wondering if, like, um, this is too close to the end of this age, and maybe we need to be doing something with the bird mom right now, but we didn't have any hot spots or anything that we could do with that. That's the plant. Can we get a sense of, like, does this plant connect to anything else that we can recognize? Like, this is the top. It can only go down, it looks like. Mm hmm There's the mirror, and there's the little sunflower-looking glass. That's something. Do we need to get the light to shine there, and then have that shine up at the trap? Maybe? I don't know if that would release it, but um, we have used light to open things up before, so maybe that's the trick? I feel like that the range of motion for the light didn't seem to indicate that as a hotspot unless we just weren't using the right light. So there's the trap. Looks like it. And it's got a bunch of those. Are those all its roots? Or is it another plant? I don't know. So, like, we've got a stingray. Let's try pointing it up there and switching the light source away from the bridge. and see if that affects anything. I'm more or less grasping here, but I think this is the right track. I mean, the, the bird mom feel like the biggest loose end we've got at the moment. Okay, so that did nothing. <laughs> Unfortunate. Um, like, what about, like, I, I don't think, like, the stingray down there, like, it's connected to the roots. Uh, do those, like, green things interact at all, or anything kooky like that? can the stingray is at least luminous i don't know if it's like can do anything else but also like we haven't really figured out anything it can do so i'm wondering if that's related Like before we were kind of operating on the assumption that sensor plant was just like um, drawing in light, but that's not really the case. So mm -hmm. it still has some kind of function.
Right? Okay. <laughs> well, we did it. Hmm. I feel like we're missing some context for why that would work. <laughs> yeah, that that this feels like a trial and error puzzle. So, uh, I guess the solution to that puzzle was to have the light beaming over to a reflector here, which then beamed up onto there, which we had to then beam through this, which I guess focused the beam of light down onto the bulb with the sword, or with the stingray in it. Maybe it's kind of similar to how, like, at the start, we had that issue where we like, focused a beam on uh, a sack and it spilled water into a pool. Like, that was also kind of just, like, mystifying, but it's, like, the closest thing I can think of, like, why that would work. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> now what? <laughs> <laughs> well, the bird's out. Um, and unless it's going to help us in the bottom, it maybe it's going to... It, it's either going to do something down or it's going to do something up because now it's, it's that's the the biggest wild card we've got right now. That's our prayer and our hope that that's going to save us from ourselves. Well, on the bright side, we don't need to worry about this bridge anymore because we can just pretty much keep it open now. That's handy. So we don't have to come back over here and fiddle with the lights again. I guess we would just, you know, try to get to our major hot spots around here and see if the mama bird deigns to uh, help us. Seems like the only thing we can do. And I assume we want it open, because we've done a lot of work to try and get it to this state. Mm -hmm. I wonder if the pollen will attract the mother bird. Nope. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Birds love pollen. Uh, we are getting our <laughs> Space Quest 4 moment here. <laughs> And then we get fed to the baby. Game over. Yeah. You are full of protein, so... You want to give it one more yank? <laughs> uh, yeah, can we exit? Can we... Can't seem to do too much of... Oh, there we go. There's the exit. We. It's a duck. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad that we knew to draw that. Uh huh. And here's the linking book. We did it. We're so smart. 
Oh, what an age. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry for picking the grass <laughs> Oh, we're back in the, uh... This is the tutorial room where it's like, okay, here's your mission. You're gonna, you're gonna, uh, play some teaching missions. You're gonna go, you're gonna learn about plants and how nature is chaos and you control nothing. Mm. Do you think the sketch we drew is part of the quote-unquote poem? I don't know. Good question. Interesting. So there's an elevator we can access from the exterior, but not from the interior. Unless it's the one that we use to get down into um, the personal quarters in the first yeah, place. Yeah, that's the one. I think that's the elevator we've already used. Anyway, no more time for fiddling. We've <laughs> conquered one of the three spoke ages. And next week on Saving Often, will we go to Red Voltaic or Blue Amateria? Hmm. Vote in the comments. It won't actually matter. We're going to decide without you. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, thank you very much for joining us. <laughs> Remember to save early and save often. <laughs> Vote in the comments. We will read every one of them, and I swear we'll take them to heart, even though we'll probably record this before we read your votes. Anyway, have a wonderful week. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. Hope you'll come back for more later. And uh, yeah, uh, we will miss you all. <laughs> See ya.